Ian is actually able to These may open. seem like simple tasks, pouring from a bottle into a jar, grabbing a stick and stirring it. But for Ian Burkhart, this is close to miraculous. A diving accident six years ago left him quadriplegic. Now researchers at Ohio State University have come up with a device that allows his brain to once again control his paralyzed hand. For the first time of being able to move my hand, it was a big shock because, you know, it's something that I haven't, hadn't moved in about three and a half years at that point. Researchers call their work neural bypass technology. They surgically implanted a pea-sized microchip in Burkhardt's brain. An external connection allowed them to attach the microchip to a computer running a program that can interpret Burkhardt's brain activity. The program then sends instructions to a sleeve on his arm that stimulates specific muscles into action. He is thinking about the actual movements that he wants to make. Uh, so we wanted to uh, really uh, create a technology that would allow that and so that it's more natural. Burkhart first demonstrated limited control just three months after the procedure. A year later, he was playing Guitar Hero. Today, results of the experiment were published online by the journal Nature. The idea is to, to this Canadian the spinal ideas. cord injury researcher uh, says the study is a long way from providing a practical method to restore movement. It is at the moment a very experimental study with one patient only. It's not yet a treatment. It's just a step on the road to something which we may see for some people with spinal cord injury in the decades to come. The researchers are already on their way. They're expanding their study this summer, hoping to eventually include five participants. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.